Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for those who don't know me, my name is Jennifer Tomazzini and for those who are back, welcome again. I'm so, so happy and really appreciate it. Um, so today I really wanna do a fun video, also kind of a tag video, I think it is, and it's the five makeup products I cannot live without. So if you guys are interested, let's keep watching. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will really, really appreciate it. Also, if you like this, this video, click a thumbs up. And um, I do have two Instagram accounts. Um, I will link it down below, so don't forget to uh, follow me there on my social media accounts. So the first, the first makeup product that I cannot live without is a foundation. And I have been discovered this foundation for the, a couple of months now, like a three months. And this one is my second time purchasing it because I'm obsessed with it. And I'm not seeing myself like uh, changing my foundation routine because I'm so obsessed with it. The name is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I hope the camera can pick it up. And this one is in the shade Sand. I could also be golden, but uh, that was was sold out. So now I'm just using the sand one and this foundation i know i'm so like late for this like really really late for this i'm so sorry but um i know uh james charles was talking about this foundation for a very long time and also jacqueline hill and because of jacqueline hill jacqueline hill use it and then she says she's obsessed with it i thought okay i need to try it then and i have to be honest it's the most amazing foundation ever like it's medium to full coverage foundation, but it's glowy, so it's not matte. Uh, it covers amazing, and it lasts forever. Um, here is the package, it's the brand new one, because just the one that I have, it's almost finished. And, I mean, I don't know what to say about this foundation. It's everything you want in a foundation. Like, it's full coverage, uh, it lasts all the time, it's not matte, it's like a little bit glowy. And it's just perfect. It's not cakey at all. So I mean, I'm obsessed with this. And I can't see myself purchase another type of foundation because I'm really, really obsessed with this. The second items, um, it has to be two in one and it will be the concealer. I love the Tarte Shape Concealer. And now I just realized that I threw away the two of them because they're, they were finished. So I'm so sorry, I can't show it to you. Because the Tarte Shape Concealer, I have been purchased, I think, 10 times now. Like, I always repurchase it. But now I have another favorite. So Tarte Shape Tape will always be the one part I cannot live without. But together with this one, the Too Faced Born This Way uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer Super Coverage this one. Now the color that I've been using is porcelain, it is too light for me, but I don't really care. Uh, it's incredible the coverage that it has, um, and it's still not matte, it's glowy as well, and I'm obsessed with it. The good thing with this one is also, it has a spoon, like this, kind of the same as the, sh the shape tape, but you don't need to go in again. You use, just for once, you use the whole side and then again your side. So it's like you don't need a lot of product. A little bit goes a long way and that's better than the shape tape because with the shape tape, I have the feeling I always have to dig it in and then again and dig it in again. So, I mean, a lot of product goes away really fast and with this one, you don't need, you don't need a lot of product. So that's why I love it so much. So for the concealer, Two in one, the Shape Tape Tarte Concealer, and of course the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. So the third item, the third makeup product I love with without, and this one is the new discovery for me, uh, is actually a setting spray. I have been obsessing with the All Nighter from Urban Decay. You guys know that uh, I always been using that, or the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, but that's not actually a setting spray. Um, but I realized that the makeup didn't last the whole day. Like, it's just a really amazing product to look in your makeup at the beginning and that's it. But then after some hours, it's away again. But this product is certainly amazing. And this one is the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray Ultra Matte. 
I mean, this is exactly what I thought it would be. This setting spray, you spray on your face. The mist is not the best because it's like, pop, 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 and I don't really like, I prefer like a huge, like, like a really evaporating mist. And this is not the evaporating mist, but the makeup lasts the whole day. It's incredible. I am a person who, I do like a whole makeup face also when I go to work. I'm like this, I love makeup. Like I don't feel comfortable enough to go at work, do visitation for my patients and don't feel at my best. Like I don't, I don't wanna do that. I wanna look professional and beautiful and I wanna look fresh for work. So I do a whole beat face when I go to work. Um, and I see this, that in the morning when I put this setting spray at seven and then I go back at five or six in the afternoon at, at home, the face looks the same. You still see the highlight, you still, you still see the bronzer, you still see the blush. The blush is, for me, the blush is the first thing that goes away from my face. Like after some hours, the blush is gone, like always. And without retouch, you still see my blush, my highlight and my bronzer at six in the afternoon. It's incredible. So to be honest, uh, this is actually what it is, an extra hold setting spray. It's so good. Um, the perfume inside, it's kind of strong, so it's not for everyone. Prefer, uh, for me, actually, it doesn't, it doesn't bother. I mean, I like this scent, but I can imagine that a lot of people think the scent is too strong. For me, it's okay, I don't mind. Um, and it, yeah, I think it does have alcohol inside. Yeah, it has contains alcohol and fragrance. So that's not the best thing to put on your face. I do understand that. But if you, not like me that you wanna use it every day, but if you wanna go for prom or a beautiful dinner with your first date or like a special occasion for a wedding, like a guest or like a bride, Oh my God, you need this in your life. This makeup will not bunch. It will look perfect after six hours. You know, it's unbelievable. Like I can't recommend this item um, enough. I feel like every product she made are always amazing, but this item, I'm so obsessed. I mean, you need it in your life. You need to try it because it's so good, so good. The fourth item that I have, is a bronzer and you guys know which one it is I think because you have been seen using it for the longest time and is of course the Omega bronzer for Marc Jacobs and I have been using the classic one the dark one um, with a black cover and I think it was tantric or something the color and now I bought the new one the coconut perfect tan that smells like coconut with the white cover on it and this one is a little bit more dark than the actual original one. And you guys, this is my third. This is my third Omega bronzer from Marc Jacobs. This is the first coconut one. The other one was the original ones. But I mean, I'm obsessed with this color. I feel like, you know, you can see how dark and beautiful it is. Look how beautiful it is. Um, I adore this bronzer. I feel like it's so blendable. Um, it's so natural. Uh, it looks so beautiful on the skin. Uh, it doesn't have shimmer. Uh, it's the perfect color. Um, you got a lot of product for the amount that you pay. The mirror is huge. I mean, it's huge. I don't know if I can show it to you. I think I will blend you better not. Um, and it smells like coconut. I mean, what do you wanna wanna have more than this? So I'm not seeing myself changing the bronzer because I'm so obsessed with this one and the quality is just out of this world. So guys, the last product, makeup product I cannot live without is actually something from Kylie Cosmetics and it is the matte liquid lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. I bought my first matte liquid lipstick from her probably I would say five years ago and since then every year I purchase more and more and more. My personal favorite is um, Candy K. It's I think it was the first one of the first lip kits to come out and I still purchase it 
until this day. I purchased this like two days ago and I think I have been gone out for four or five candy K. Uh, what I'm having right now is exposed matte liquid lipstick from Kylie. Um, this is the this one is a new one that I bought. This one is the color of Kylie as well. And this one is more like on a pink side. I love it. This one is Candy K, of course. I do have, let me see, Malibu liquid lipsticks. I have the Chloe Collaboration um, clothes, I think it calls, yeah. Also matte liquid lipstick. I have a velvet, but to be honest, the, the matte liquid lipstick are, are what I love about Kylie's uh, cosmetics. And I'm so obsessed actually with the color range that she has. She has an amazing color range. Um, and of course the lips get dry, but they always get dry, no matter what matte liquid lipstick you use. Um, so I always use a balm on, on it. Uh, but to be honest, for me, these are my favorite li matte liquid lipstick. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills as well, but for me, the Kylie liquid lipstick are out of this world. I will purchase this every year on and on again because these are just bomb. I'm gonna show you some of them so you guys can see. Um, let me check. Hmm, what I should show you. Okay, this one is the Malibu. I'll show you Malibu, how beautiful it is. This one is more like a mauve kind of color. Can you see it? This is the mauve Malibu, Malibu matte liquid lipsticks. Then we have the collaboration with Coco. Uh, matte liquid lipstick in Close, I think it is. Or Clow, maybe it is. And this one is also one of my favorite. And this one is more on a nude, pinkish kind of side. This one, look how amazing it looks. Should I show you some more? Yeah, I don't know. Like my favorite, okay, my fa I show you my favorite, okay? My favorite is of course Candy K. Oh, look how beautiful. This one is exactly a new one. I just purchased it again. Oh, I love this so much. And it reminds me a little bit of the collaboration with Chloe, but yeah, the color is out of this world. So the third one, the third one here is Candy K, my absolutely favorite. And Expose is also one of my favorite. It's a typical perfect nude, peach nude, I would say. Yeah. And of course, with the lip kit, it also com comes with lip liner. And with Candy K, I always repurchase the lip kit because I always want to have the lip liner as well. But for other ones, I just buy the matte because now you can also choose to buy just the liquid lipstick. For example, I bought this one, also one of my all times favorite. This is Coco K and also it's on a pinkish side. And for this, I just bought the matte liquid lipstick without the lip liner, so without the lip kit. So you do have a lot of um, to choose from. She has all, like I think she has all typical colors. Like, you know, you, she has so much different nudes, so much different pink. Uh, she has black, red, uh, violet, purple, blue. I mean, she has every single shade. Um, and she's, she's just amazing. For me, she's just a big inspiration and I mean, I will never stop purchasing her liquid lipsticks. They are just bomb. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you like it, click a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening, okay? Bye.